Ooh, this is gonna be a good video. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeletons go shivering down your spine. What is up, you guys? Oh my gosh, happy Halloween! Oh my gosh, you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween. It is Halloween! That's right, you guys, Halloween surprise! There is a Halloween video this year, too. Bet you didn't expect that, did ya? Did ya? Did you? Oh, I still can't do that dance. I really want to. For this Cuptober special, we are doing something super fun. We are testing some Halloween crafts. So I went to Michael's. Is Michael like a person who's just really into crafts? I kind of feel you, Michael. Hopefully all of them come out nicely. I'm not really expecting all of them to. The first craft, the candle. Oh, <laughs> look at my little legs. I have these, are these called candelabras? Or are candelabras just like the ones with like the multiple candles? Candle holders, just candlestick holders? Candelabra sounds spookier. Candelabra. Uh, uh, uh. So I got these white candles at the store. They are a perfect fit. Perfect, perfect fit. But these aren't spooky, like, at all. So let's make them spooky. Where'd my lighter go? I found it. Here goes nothing. Okay, so I'm just going to... Oh, it's stuck. Drip. Ha ah, ha We have a drip! Oh, okay, I'm dripping on other stuff. Ah, we have a long drip. <gasps> Wait, this is looking so cool. Wait, this is kind of fun. I want to do this more often. Ah! Okay, less often, less often. Ow! Spooky. Oh, it's still a little warm. <laughs> Second one done. Really cute, really fun to do, and definitely made it look a lot more spooky. Well, that was a really strong start. Let's move on to craft number two. But this one, we get to play with clay. <laughs> kind of looks like cream cheese. <laughs> so what we are going to be making is a tray to put my candle on. So I have an ottoman in my living room, but it's really soft and plush, and so you can't really sit anything on it. But I want to put a holiday candle on there, so I'm going to make a tray to hold the holiday candle so we can have pumpkin spice. I don't like this. Is that a good tray? This looks more unstable than the actual ottoman. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> I still don't like the way it feels. My hands are tired. Here it is. Oh wow, it looks like shit. <laughs> okay, we'll let it dry in 24 hours and then I'll show it to you. And then hopefully it'll be cool. I still need to like paint it and stuff. So let's cut to that and then we'll show the finished product. We have our little ghost in the corner, we have some cobwebs, a perfect place for our candle, and on the back, a perfect spot for our lighter. So we will never have to look for one. I have painted it, I spray painted it black and used a white Sharpie pen marker to do some little details, and this is what it looks like. 
Here's our Bath and Body Works pumpkin candle. And we have a little clown lighter to sit in the back. Okay, so the next craft involves this guy. So what my plan is, is I want to carve a, like a moon and like a bunch of stars in this. And then I have this fabric and I wanna see what I can do with it. How are you supposed to even carve into these? So can I just like, Art. Okay, let's try this. We're back. It is later in the day, and I moved all of this to the other side of the room. So I had to go to the store and get a exacto knife because pumpkin carving tools were not carving this pumpkin. So I carved it, and here's what it looks like. I tried carving the top. I don't know if you can see the line or not, but I tried carving the top off like a normal pumpkin, but I could not get it off. So I made a little escape hatch. The reason why I made an escape hatch is because we have to get on the inside because we're going to put fabric over our holes. That's what she said. Maybe not. Cute little fabric. Ah! Do you want to see a magic trick? Look at this table. Abra, ka, dabra, pumpkin. <laughs> oh no, the hot glue gun won't fit. Get in there. Ow! Oh, that hurt. I need a hot glue gun. The gun stuck. Hold on. Yeah. Little door on. Hello. And then our pumpkin's done. And now we have one final project. Are you ready? We're going to take this old book and make it look spooky. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do to this book is I'm going to make some drips and some moons and stuff, but I'm gonna make it with hot glue. Now we're gonna take some paper towels, some Mod Podge, and a foam brush and make it look even creepier.
hope you guys had so much fun with Cubtober this year. I definitely know I did, and I cannot wait to see what we have in store for next year. Like this video, subscribe, and make sure you comment down below and tell me what you're going to be for Halloween tonight, because I really want to know. Check out OnlyCubby.com for more, and I will see you guys next Halloween. <laughs>